and welcome to Wet Talks Live. I'm Stephanie Valentic. Today I'm here with Tim from Cedron Technologies. How are you doing, Tim? I'm doing great, thanks, Stephanie. So can you tell me first about, you know, a little bit about your company? I sure can, yeah. Cedron Technologies is a really interesting and innovative company. Uh, we were founded in, 20, in 2014, and we make a solution that takes waste streams, could be human waste, could be uh, animal waste like cow manure or pig manure, um, or even the, the uh, waste products from the distilling industry, and we very quickly and efficiently process that into its core components, uh, specifically water, a fertilizer product uh, that's dry, and then an ammonia-based liquid fertilizer product. So, I, I understand today you're here to talk about some technology. Tell me about Varcor and how that improves on current wastewater treatment technologies. Yeah, absolutely. So the Varcor, as I mentioned, is a very innovative and unique technology. We essentially employ two main principles, mechanical vapor recompression and thin film drying. Um, and essentially the way it works is we take whatever material we're processing, let's just say it's uh, septage from septic tanks. Mm -hmm. We heat that material up to about 100 degrees Celsius and then we spray it on these big metal discs that are heated up to about 110 degrees Celsius. As it rotates, uh, that material will dry on the discs and we have blades that will scrape it off. That becomes the dry material. Now when you spray hot liquid onto a hot disc, uh, it steams. We capture that steam, we recompress it to capture the energy, and then we take that steam and run it through a distillation column. In that distillation column, we can separate out the clean water and the ammonia or any other uh, little trace elements, uh, all of which become very valuable products. So now that you've told me a little bit about how it works, can you tell me a little bit about the operational requirements and the maintenance that goes into the system? I sure can. It's really valuable for a lot of different things. So the operational requirements, basically we need a few things. We need a waste stream, obviously, right? We need septage or we need cow manure or whatever. We need something to process. Um, we need electricity. They're our biggest uh, driver for, uh, for energy is electricity. We need natural gas. Um, and then we need to uh, have, it, have an outlet for the material we produce. So we can take in class A, I'm sorry, class B biosolids and septage, and in about seven to 10 minutes, convert it into a class A product. Class A products are much more desirable for the industry because they, uh, they're, pollute, they're uh, weed free, they're, they're pathogen free, um, and they're great fertilizers. So uh, when we have, when we produce those products, then we need an outlet. So we can sell it at retail, we could apply it on fields, there's a lot of different things we can do with it. So what does that mean for overall efficiency and costs? So overall efficiency and costs, we are much more efficient. The, our technology is about 30 times more energy efficient than a traditional natural gas boiler. That actually is the secret sauce. Uh, that's because of the mechanical vapor recompression. We're able to re reuse the energy over and over and over again. If we didn't have that technology, this wouldn't pencil out, it just wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a big part of it. Uh, we're far more energy efficient. The other thing is we solve a lot of problems that uh, wastewater treatment plants have with regard to things like side stream nitrogen removal. Uh, most wastewater treatment plants have requirements about how much uh, nitrogen they're allowed to discharge. But once they hit that requirement, they can't discharge anymore. So they have to reroute that stream back through their system which is stupid. If you think about it, you're, you're reprocessing things you've already processed. Our solution, if you put it in line right at that point, uh, can process that without having to reroute it. So the wastewater treatment plant becomes much, much more efficient. So with the Varcor technology, um, you've explained a little bit about how it works, you know, how it works in the efficiency and cost. What kind of training and or skills are needed to uh, implement this technology? Yeah, the beauty of this system is uh, typically a site, like maybe some of the ones we'll see on the video behind us, uh, employs between 10 and 14 people. These are good jobs. They're high paying jobs, they're stable, uh, they're, they bring value to the community. We don't need superly, super highly trained wastewater treatment operators. We can take anywhere from a millwright to like an auto mechanic, uh, anybody who has good technical skills or, or good kind of uh, you know, manual skills. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can train them how to do it. The system is designed with a great uh, HMI, human machine interface. So it can all be operated um, by a computer. Everything is monitored, every valve is monitored. So we can run it directly from the computer 
Uh, but we do need people on site to make sure where things are being done safely and then also to do the maintenance. Um, are there any environmental or regulatory, regulatory um, policies or compliance that go into the VARCAR technology? Uh, we help with a lot of environmental impact things. I mentioned earlier the side stream uh, uh, nitrogen processing. That's a huge impact. Mm -hmm. um, on a dairy farm, uh, right now what most dairy farms do is take their cow manure and put it in a manure lagoon. Well, that just sits there and oozes methane, so huge environmental impact. Mm -hmm. One of our goals as a company is to eliminate completely the um, dairy manure lagoon. Um, got a long ways to go to get there, but we're on the way. Um, so there's definitely environmental impacts. Also, by reducing the amount of water in the material we produce, we save on trucking costs, um, so fewer truck trips required, which also has an environmental impact. And then from a regulatory perspective, uh, our system doesn't use incineration, so regulatory regulations around incineration are becoming very, very stringent. Also, regulations around the disposal of biosolids are becoming more and more stringent. So by, by turning it into a class A product, uh, we're able to uh, make it easier for wastewater treatment plants to comply with those environmental requirements. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Do you have anything to add about what we talked about? Uh, I guess the only thing I'd like to add is uh, we, uh, we're very excited about where our future lies. We've got several projects under construction right now. We're not just three guys in a pickup truck. We've got steel in the air at a dairy farm in Indiana, at a dairy farm up in um, Wisconsin, a human waste facility down in uh, Florida we're working on. We're working on a distillery deal in, in Kentucky. So uh, we're real. We've got steel in the air, we've got projects in the works, and we've got operating projects as well. So uh, looking forward to working with everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining me today once again. This has been Stephanie Valentic with Wet Talks Live.